In this video, I'll show you how to add markers to your videos in Camtasia. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Markers in Camtasia are essentially indicative points on the timeline or on your media inside Camtasia. When working with media, sometimes you may need to indicate or show a particular section, an issue or highlight something. So a good way is to use a marker. And when you use a marker, it can either be on the timeline, that is on the timeline up here or on the media. A good thing or a rule of thumb, especially when I'm working with content is that adding a marker to the timeline can really mess you up, especially when you move clips around. So to avoid that, always add your markers to your clips and you will always know what that particular marker indicates. So the use case scenarios or applications for this is when you want to uh, highlight a section where you need to add corrections, maybe you want to add some media, some B-roll. Uh, another scenario is uh, markers are essentially used to create table of contents, especially when you export Camtasia videos that you'll be hosting on your website with table of contents. Uh, another scenario that you'll notice uh, markers appear is when you import a PowerPoint recording that has been recorded using Camtasia. The PowerPoint slides will come in to Camtasia with markers already set. So those are a couple of scenarios. But let's look at how you add markers in Camtasia. It's pretty simple. And uh, from the look of things, this is just a short video uh, where I probably might want to indicate a couple of things inside, uh, inside here. So for example, this is the introduction. And another way I use markers to help me uh, is uh, because YouTube, you can add some uh, timestamps on YouTube, then I might say this first section, I'll add a marker and call it introduction. So there are two ways to add a marker. You can either click on this uh, down arrow here that will show you uh, the quiz menu or the marker menu. Now, if I click on this, you'll see uh, the marker come in here. It's just a small strip. And when you hover over this section, you'll see a plus sign that starts appearing somewhere here. It's blue in color. As you scroll along, you'll see it there. You'll also notice that when you scroll to your timeline or your media on the timeline, you'll be able to add markers on your timeline as well, uh, on your media as well, which is a good thing. Now, let's add our first uh, marker here. And when you click on it, just click on that particular section, you'll see the word marker one, more or less. And you can now make the changes or add a name that you remember this with. Let's call it introduction and press on enter. And we've added our first marker. Let's say we want to add another marker somewhere. Let's just use this first to see what, uh, let's go to create design, marker two, create, new design, just click outside or just even click on this uh, playhead, move along. And then let's say uh, is something like open project, uh, open PDF project, enter. And then I scroll along, just say, uh, click here and say, conclusion. So we've added markers to the timeline, not to the media. Therefore, if I click on this particular media and move it, this particular marker will not move with the media. And that's quite dangerous, especially when you wanted to work or make changes to your clips on the timeline. Let's say you wanted to remove a mistake. And this is uh, something that I always use when probably working sometimes on work that revolves around uh, taking out mistakes and all that. So. If you've made a mistake and added the markers to the timeline instead of the media that you wanted it to, to add that to, then you can easily just come to your marker, click on it, and then you can drag it. And once you get to the timeline below, you'll see the blue sign appear again, click on that. Once you click, the marker will move from the timeline to the section that you want. And once it's available in your media, you can move it along the media wherever you want it to be. So 
moving a marker that you've accidentally placed on the timeline to your media is pretty simple just remember you need to click on that particular marker move down to uh, like with the media or the marker selected and then click once you click it moves down click here click inside here click here click inside here and the markers move now if you'd like to delete a marker all you need to do is just right click on that particular marker click on delete you can also rename it ATC if you wanted to delete all markers on the timeline you can come to modify markers remove all markers but something else that is available is something called split all markers so if you click on this clips will be split at sections where we have the markers so if that is something that you were doing and you just worked on a whole project and wanted to subdivide based on points based on maybe topics then adding markers can help you easily split out these sections just by you scrolling through or going through the media knowing where you need to split and then adding markers that will help you split your clips along the way and if i did not mention this you can also add or show the markers by pressing on control plus m and once you do that the marker show control plus m you can check that and once you do that the markers will no longer be seen but now since we added our markers to the clips you'll see them on the clips right here so that is how you add markers to your media or to your timeline in Camtasia and how you can modify the markers and how you can use the markers if you want to use them to split your clips uh, probably uh, if you've imported a PowerPoint presentation after recording they appear with markers the way you see them right now on this particular clip but that is how you add markers and use them in Camtasia thanks for watching my name is David until next time stay safe and never stop learning